morning dear students so yesterday we completed day 2 revision right i hope everyone have completed the worksheets and kids are uploaded if you have any doubt you can ask me okay now today we are going to start evo by revision day 3 right so you already know about the chapter ratio and proportion that is unit 6 okay so what do you mean by ratio ratio means what comparing of two quantities you know already detailed detailed explanation are given in the physical classes so this is just a device for you so what do you mean by ratio comparison or a comparing of comparing of two quantities comparing of two quantities okay so how we are going to compare either we are going to compare uh, Uh, any persons or objects or anything when we are going to compare those dimensions must be same i mean if we are taking for example 1 kg of sugar and comparing 1 kg of sugar with a 100 grams of salt see here and comparing 1 kg and 100 grams here but you have to observe here the dimensions the kg will be here that way This will not become a ratio. If we are going to do the ratio of one kg and also hundred grams, it will not become a ratio because the dimensions are not same. So in order to make it same, means either we have to convert kg into grams or grams into kg. So we are converting one kg into grams. So that is for one kg how many grams? Thousand grams. And here hundred grams. And we are using To represent the ratio, the symbol is two dots. Okay, that is hundred gram, hundred so thousand grams is two hundred grams. We are calling this symbol as this two. Okay, now proportion. So what do you mean by proportion? You just know about the that ratio. So proportion means. The comparing of two ratios. What do you mean by proportion? Comparing of two ratios. How we are going to compare? For example, four is to eight will be. This is one ratio, and another ratio will be two is to four. So this is another ratio. Right, so x is equal to two. 
So x value we got 2 here. So how to uh, know that x is equal to 2 is the exact value for this ratio? When while we are substituting the x as 2, the two ratios must be equal. Check once 4 is to 8. What we got x as 2, right? 2 is to 4. 4 divided by 8 is equal to 2 divided by 4. 4 ones are 4 twos are 2 ones are 2 twos. We got 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 divided by 2. Yes? Okay. So, it's all like this, right? So, today worksheet is completely with the word problems. Okay? So, how the word problems will be? For example, if 1 kg of sugar cost is 1000 rupees, then what is the cost for the 5 kg of sugar? Okay, like these questions are there. Like, uh, simply twisted questions are there. So, go through the worksheet, solve them. If you have any doubt, please send a screenshot of that. Okay, then I will again. Thank you.